All right, guys. Uh, picked up an MX three. Oh, I'm sorry, 650 uh, Razor dirt bike on a Facebook Marketplace not too long ago. Uh, it was only up for thirty dollars. Now, usually when you see something like this for thirty dollars, you know you're going to have to put some work into it. But that's that's fine with me. I rather have a little project, especially one I can work on with with my daughter. Um, it pretty much came as you see here, except I've already taken the batteries out. Um, and the covers were already off of it, but I can already expect to replace the batteries and a few other things. Um, yeah, and the reason why I got this is because my eight-year-old daughter, she's getting a little too big for her MX350. It's a little small in it. Yeah, so we're going to work on this. Uh, so let's uh, start tearing this thing down, and we'll go over what all's wrong with this one, and hopefully it doesn't cost us too much money. If anything, it's just a fun project to do. So one of the first things off that you can see that's that's wrong with this is there's no kickstand. Uh, you got to put it up on jack stands or push it up against the wall. So we'll have to, or you got to push it up against her to hold it up like we're doing in this video. Um, so we'll just have to order a new kickstand and we'll see what else we got. The paint on this thing is extremely faded. You, know, you kind of got that white faded look. So I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to sand it down and probably use a product everybody knows called Plasti Dip. It's real easy to put it on. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing to the front fender fairing and then the uh, pretty much all the yellow you see that's non-frame. The left side brake handle, it is busted. Um, it's just flopping around. So that's something that we'll have to replace. Uh, looking at the wheels here, there is a lot of rust all over the wheels, so we're going to have to clean those up. I uh, bet you the wheel bearings are probably shot, so we'll be replacing those. Um, and if these are probably shot, then I bet the motor bearings are probably bad. This thing looks like it's got a, had a lot of mud on it when I first got it. I kind of cleaned it off a little bit. Um, coming over here, looking at the other side, this brake, this one's fine. There's no brakes here. But um, the controller, it's kind of loose. well, it's supposed to be loose, but the uh, it's squeaking real bad. It has been lubed up, and then there's a cover supposed to be on here, which is no big deal. As long as this works, we'll keep this, but if not, we may have to replace the, uh, the throttle. Uh, we'll test this out on the bench once we get everything torn apart. Uh, coming back here and looking at the chain, the chain was off. Uh, when I got, I just let it pop the chain off. Um, it doesn't reach the sprocket. I think this is is too short. I don't know if maybe a link broke and uh, popped a new one or took the link out and hopefully it would have fit and realized it doesn't. Um, but we'll probably have to get a new chain, which is again no big deal. I mean that's kind of almost a maintenance item. Those things wear. So uh, we'll get a new one of those. You want to show that? You can see all the mud there. Um, looking down here at the controller, uh, these are the wires coming from the motor. And, you know, this is supposed to be a quick connect connection. And they used wire nuts. So. Um, luckily, I think I got some spare connectors from an E300 that I can pop off and also have the terminals that you can crimp on that match those connectors. Uh, so we'll swap those out. So uh, back here, here's another area of failure for these. Um, this is what they call, there's about three different names for this. This is a sprag, one-way clutch, or what they call a freewheel. This is so... Um, it's a one-way bearing essentially so once power stops from the motor it can keep spinning um, without this part moving it's just like a bicycle the problem is this thing it it locks up sometimes both ways it'll grab backwards and it just sounds awful when it's rolling I don't know if you can pick it up but it, it sounds like a bad wheel bearing but I know it's the the only thing moving in here that's roaring is, is this piece so we're going to replace the uh, free wheel as well. Oh, I forgot to look at the uh, cover on this. Um, I forgot that there's date codes usually on these things. 
so if I post this video tonight you will see that as of yesterday this bike was made 11 years ago this thing's old so here's the batteries that came with this bike but these aren't the original batteries um, the batteries that came in it or I mean the one that came with this actual bike they're, they're Duracell Brazer usually puts some off-brand name in it you usually don't see a Duracell or Energizer or any of those kind of well-known brand names on theirs and uh, plus you can tell that these aren't the original because they got copyright dates of 2014 if this is a 2009 bike which sounds about right there's you know these these batteries last about five years um, so 2014 be about the time that they would replace them and then coming up as of right now it's been almost another five six years it's time to replace them again um, this is how they were all connected and this is another way you can tell that these were not original these are just the regular crimp on um, quarter inch quick connect connectors and usually from razor they come soldered on with some and also some uh, hot glue on there hot glue. yeah and then I fully I was able these, these were um, a lot of them were down like two three four volts um, I have a battery monitor 12 volt charger that's pretty good about reviving batteries if they are revivable uh, charge this one up to full voltage it brought it back after three days um, but I did a, like a discharge test and only got 1.613 milliamp hours out of this one this one um, I kind of did a pre-test on it um, Let's see here so right now it's just sitting at 12.46 and this came off the charger not too long ago so you can already tell there's something going on uh we're going to put a load on it get away so a seven and a uh 750 amp mil uh, milliamp load on it i mean we're already down to less than 11 volts and uh you know 10.9 volts so this voltage is dropping like crazy. I, I would doubt we'd even get 100, uh, mil, or, uh, 100 milliamp hours out of this thing. Um, oh, wait, I wrote that wrong. That should be 1.6 amp hours. All right, so I got everything laid out here on the bench to do some bench testing. Um, since I don't have any batteries yet, what I'm using is two 20-volt drill batteries uh, run in series. And I got that connected where the batteries would have been and and pretty much have everything laid out like it would be on the bike um, I've also made sure that the switch is in place so I just turned that on or actually off um, but here I'll show you the throttle so here's the throttle so I get the on and this means fully charged but if you look over here that's saying point Oh, I'm sorry 2.47 volts DC and when you turn it it was like two so either this throttles bad or the uh, controller is bad we'll go ahead and disconnect this we don't need the outfeed side of it we just need to see if the uh, voltage readings at the throttle connector are uh, what they need to be if they're not then we know it's the throttle if they are that's probably the controller all right so now we're going to test the actual throttle input and output um, if you go I think electric scooter parts has different um, how to's on their website of what to look for um, I'll put a link below for the five and the six wire configuration this is a five wire this is an older one they changed it to a six but um, the, I'm looking right now I'm measuring DC voltage coming from the throttle side I'm looking at the red and black and they said it should be between 4.3 and 5 volts and if I can get good enough so I got 4.2 that seems low output um, then what you want to do is you want to check the voltage going back into um, the controller from the throttle and that's going to be the black and green wire um, if you can see right here and it says I should get about 0.8 normally here 
And then when I actuate it, I should get uh, 4.3 or, you, sh you know, anyway, you should see some movement. But the idle is definitely 0.8. I don't know. These numbers are kind of low. Um, I think the throttle's fine. I think the controller's bad. But you can't find the um, five-wire controller anymore, so you have to get a six-wire kit. So I'll just go ahead and replace the controller and the throttle. Uh, and this one's just so... It's really stiff, and plus that cover's missing. All right, so we got the motor up here on the, the, the bench. Um, I got my assistant holding it down. We're still going to use the same uh, batteries here, and we're just doing a straight kind of essentially battery to... Uh, motor test. And what I'm doing is I'm making the connection and what we want to do is we just want to make sure this thing fires up and also I kind of want to hear what those bearings sound like. Are right, you holding it down? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah it sounds uh... Ooh. Oh, well, that's the brushes in it. It's it it feels kind of gritty in there, so we're gonna open that up and replace the uh, the bearings. All right, so I think we've pretty much broken down everything. We've looked at everything, what we need. Um, so kind of the make a verbal list of what we need. We need a kickstand, um, a new chain, a new freewheel, some wheel bearings. Uh, motor bearings i'll go ahead and order a new throttle and a controller and some new batteries i'm trying to think there's a oh brake handle uh left side brake handle and then there's probably some miscellaneous stuff like um <clears throat> we'll need to get bolts for the um the the battery covers um because they didn't have the bolts that's about it. pretty much it, really what the only thing they were missing uh, a few miscellaneous connectors, which I think I got some here. Uh, but that'll be it. Oh, and some uh, Plasti Dip to paint the the uh, fairings with. And uh, maybe a part two video where we actually put everything back together and replace everything. And if there is a part two, we'll, we'll put it up in this area here. If not, I'll edit this part out and, well, we'll just go straight into it.